Oh, peace family, peace family. Everybody know peace to all the loyal subscribers. Um, peace to every, everyone just trying to spiritually grow and, you know, mingle upon open-minded people like yourself, you know. I am that. Okay, so. Oh, so just in time, I'm telling you. My own. One of my people that had a balloon release today. Just so happened I start recording right when like the stuff right off. That's crazy. I'm gonna come in the right overhead. But um yeah today I just want to really come to the family. Cause we have Memorial Herman Park. I don't know if y'all been here before. Uh Houston. It's kinda like by the um by the zoo and all that. Oh, they got some stars in there. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> that's so awesome. So, um, yeah, today I just want to speak about, um, for all the people who haven't heard about alchemy and, you know, just transmuting energy into what you want it to be and just transforming your life into what you want it to be in general. So, um, with that being said, um, it mostly goes with like, let's just say you have uh, a situation that you feel like it's less than yourself or you feel like can be, you know, um, you know, you should have higher hopes for yourself. Let's just say that. So with that being said, with alchemy, what you're doing is, it's called transmutation which is basically whenever you're transforming one metal to another metal. But in this case, we're going to be changing, let's just say you go from bronze to gold. That's like two different, you know, that's $5 to $500 just that fast, just with alchemy and just transmitting energy. With a little work and a little, you know, uh, consistency of the properties and you can actually do that. I mean, I would go deeper into um, alchemy and transmutation as I learn more and as I, you know, decide to share more, like what I'm guided to share. So basically turning those negatives into positives or, you know, as Dolph said, dirt into diamonds. You know, we have all these different sayings, but you usually don't know where these things come from. And, you know, today I'm just feel like I'm here to let everyone know that that comes from alchemy. And it's a tradition that goes way back to, like, you know, the thousandth century before Christ and all that. So it's a real old tradition and it has lasted until now. So, you know, anything that lasts, it must be good. You know, that's what they say. So it's very, like, informational and it's kind of, it's kind of mind boggling because you're not usually... I'm gonna say you're not used to like, well, we're not, definitely not used to, um, you know, certain aspects of life and certain aspects of just creation because we don't have like, not that we're not open-minded, but we haven't been like, no one has really re revealed us these things. And sometimes you have to do your own research and do your own digging in order to find that perfect, you know, that perfect, um, that perfect sequence of information that you need to become that greater you. Because sometimes it's just a little piece of information that's kind of throwing your life off to like that better life. So you have to always like go over your life and co consistently like um, challenge yourself to, you know, look inside your life and just see what you could be doing better. Or, you know, um, keeping away from the to, from the thing that kept you low. A little duck. <laughs> no, quite, quite. I was just talking about the yesterday, that's crazy. But, um, yeah, I'm currently at this Memorial Herman Park. It's a lot of people up here, but it is Saturday, so, you know, it's expected. I'm just here walking, doing my, my usual deeds. I just, you know, we enjoy coming to different places, seeing different things, you know. So, um, yeah, but with the alchemy, like, I'm basically gonna be, um, I'm using that practice in my everyday life. Like, I plan on using 
alchemy and like well i've been using alchemy before i even knew that i was doing the so-called term alchemy i was just seeing it as trying to like like i was saying just turns a certain negative to positives and um just so happened that this an old tradition that been you know that we've been using for sure since like forever so all we're doing is coming back into terms with something that probably one of our um reincarnated people already you know that they was that's probably was their profession and with us not um locking into this information all we're basically doing is like holding back a little bit from our most highest self when you have to use all the resources that at your availability to make your life the best as you can because you know sometimes you have to use alchemy we're not giving a lot in this world so whenever you could turn that um that dirt into diamonds and things of that sort like you're gonna be doing magic before people eyes because nobody really um nobody really be on that these days you know and um y'all know me i like to tap in and i'm gonna figure it out like no doubt that's just me though i just like to do my research and i like to like I was telling y'all, like, um, oh, it look exciting over there. I'm gonna go back. But <laughs> I didn't want to stop walking because it kind of, you know. But with that being said, family, like, um, the things that you want are obtainable and it's an abundance on uh, earth. And the thing, all you have to do is, uh, this building is so hard. I know I'm supposed to be. <laughs> But it is Friday, you know, happy happy Saturday, Friday, Saturday, you know, whatever. We ain't worried about that. You know, we know time don't exist, so it don't really matter anyway. So happy day, happy day. That's all it is. Like, all we want is good experiences. Like, all that, what day it is, what time it is, that stuff don't really be mattering. Because you either, you either gonna be there or you're not. You know, at the end of the day, you gonna do it or you ain't. Yeah, sure. No matter how much time you got on here, like, how many days in the week, like, either you gonna do it or you not. All uh, that next week, next month, let me get up in five minutes. Like, all that kind of stuff, man. People just let in time, hold them back from doing what they need to really do. Five more minutes. <laughs> What's like going on? Five more minutes, and who knows what'll happen, you know? You gotta be at the right place at the right time, and sometimes. The right place and the right you don't have no time you just gotta be there when you say be there or be square you want to be well rounded never square you know so the universe even the best universe is moving spirals so just keeping that um certain aspect and keeping that same keeping that focus on that bigger goal because most of the things that we go through are just you know obstacles that are you know, just there to be used as a stepping stone to your real greatness. Like, whenever you're, like, trying to, you know, cross that bridge of life, you know? Cross that bridge and soon, just like I'm on now. I just, that's why I be feeling like as I'm speaking, like, I kind of, I love to use my surroundings and where I'm really at. Right now, I'm on, like, this little, like, a little bridge. But, um, you know, once you cross that bridge, it's, like, the better life and you don't have to really worry about the things in your past. You can release them and really um, do what you have to do as a person to um, be even greater, you know? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, family, friends, and loyal subscribers, y'all already know. Until next time, I say, I say, I say, peace.